In this video, I'm just going to go over some basic ideas of how to move the pieces around the board. So, as I've said in the first video, blacks move left to right, browns move up and down, and these yellow pieces move along the diagonals. So, what are some basic methods to get pieces where you want? So, say I want to get a yellow into this top left hand corner. I can just take this yellow piece and just sort of drag it along like this because it's on the right diagonal. But, say this yellow wasn't here and I wanted to get, say, this yellow onto this piece. Well, it can't get there by swapping diagonally. So, the first method to move pieces around the board is to just take a yellow and you can just swap the diagonal that it's on by either swapping it horizontally with a black piece or vertically with a brown piece. So if you find yourself in the position where you want to get it, say to where this white piece is here, um, let's just imagine that there's nothing else to swap with, and you want to get this white, this yellow piece into this top left corner, what you would do is drag it down and then swap it horizontally with a black piece or say vertically with a brown piece and that basically just changes the diagonal that it's on so you can get it to the right position. So that's basically the first trick. So, what other things can you do to be able to get pieces the way you want? So, say here all my brown pieces were over the right hand side of the board. I want to get make this button piece in the top left for whatever reason. How would I get my pieces over here? Well, it's quite simple really. You just sort of look for a path the a brown piece can take. So you take a brown which can move up or down and you basically just move it column to column so if you want to move this to the left hand column you scroll it down and you either swap it with a brown piece or you swap it down with a yellow piece. And that basically just moves the column that the brown piece is in. Now if you're trying to say move the white piece to where this black piece is here, you're going to have to set up a path for it. Now, you have one of two choices. You could say move this brown piece here, and basically just set up a path for it like that. Or what you could do is say you want to get a white piece to here, you, ha you have well, you, do, you have three choices. One, you can just create a path, like so, and move the rock to up like that. The second choice is you could just look for a really long path to get a white piece there. And there is one. You could take this white piece, drag it down through the two yellows, up through the browns, and across. And as you can see, it's a long path, but it's got it there. Failing all that, I find a simple yet extremely effective method that you could use is take a yellow piece and basically move it to where you want the white piece. So I'm going to take this and move it to this corner here. And now I'm going to look again to see if there is any obvious path for this white piece to take. So I can see here I can just swap it up. So those are basically the three ways where you can get the white piece where you want. You can either set up an obvious path, you can basically take the long way around, or you can first put a yellow piece where you want the white and then put the white piece in its place. So I'm just going to do a few patterns and sort of just reclaim my toolbox here. 
Okay, so let's just sort of put that into action. So say I want my yellow piece in the top left corner. So I'm going to choose this yellow piece here. But oops, it's on the piece I've chosen is on the wrong diagonal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it with the black piece, put it on the diagonal that I want, and then just move it along here. And then for the next two pieces there's just two obvious paths. So I'll just move them up like that. Again, I want this sort of halyard piece. So I've decided I'm going to build this just here. And I've got the same problem. I've got my yellow piece here. It's on the wrong diagonal. So I'm going to have to swap it with this black piece. So I'm going to swap it with that to get it on the diagonal I want. And there you go. Again, brown piece pretty obvious you can just change the column by swapping it with this black and the white piece is already there. The knee fairly simple I'll just do that and the Kringle is already there so I'm just going to go ahead and clear these patterns and there you go I want the same again um, I want to build this pump in the top left corner. So how am I going to get my piece there? Um, quite simple. First of all, with any black piece your aim is to just get it on the actual row that you want the piece. So I don't necessarily have to be aiming for this top left corner. For black piece I just have to get it anywhere on this top row. So I get this black, move it up to the top row, which is the first part, then move it across to the left. Now you can take the exact same approach with these brown pieces. I'm not aiming at first to get a brown piece to this spot. I'm just aiming to get a brown piece in this first column. So I can see I can achieve this task by just taking this piece and dragging it along. And now I've got a brown piece in the first column. Now I can just drag it up. And again I'm just going to drag this along, get a brown piece in the first column, drag it up. Um, so now I want to place a white piece here. So first approach, is there any obvious path? Um, the answer is there isn't a direct path, but I can swap it up through this yellow here, down through the brown and up through the yellow again. Um, the method of obviously taking the yellow there wouldn't have worked because well, it was already yellow. Here there's an obvious way I can just swap it. Before you go any further I really would just sort of sit there and practice sort of doing these movements. The same with any puzzle if you want to become good you have to be able to basically do these sort of things without even thinking about it. Like, I can just go ahead and just do these really fast, that cleat there on a thimble, I can just do that and again I'm just going to do it a bit faster now so bollard I want two browns on the left pattern I want to get whites here and here and a brown here and I'm going to build a cannon along here and then just sort of shove a thimble in somewhere so again but here I'm just putting pieces into the sides sort of calling white pieces up to the top I think doing that sort of zigzag with the white pieces is one way to sort of elevate them up the board and just by coincidence I've already got my two patterns made for me so I can just go ahead and clear those again stop scan to see if there are any patterns I can do and now I'm just going to go ahead and start building my patterns again notice I want to put, place this black in the top right the first thing I did was to drag it up to the top row and then drag it across I think that's generally a good idea and just sort of shove this here so that's the general rule for when you're moving your pieces is for a black piece your first aim is to get it on the appropriate row 
So you sort of move it up and down to wherever you want it and then move it across. For a brown piece, you want to move it to the appropriate column that you want it in and then move it up and down. For a yellow piece, you want to move it to the appropriate diagonal that you want and then move it to wherever you want around the screen. And for a white piece, you have to either look for an appropriate path or drag a yellow to where you want the white and hope it creates a path for you. Failing that, you might have to actually set up a path yourself or take a longer path. So here I'm just going to set up my last little combo. I've run out of pieces, but I'm just going to shove this here. And that's it for this video.